remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? There's a video out now that's certain to go viral of a father being denied the viewing of his 10-year-old daughter's body by her mother. Yeah, family, this is going to get a little heavy. So I saw this video, and it was being commentated by a guy who identified himself as a friend of the father. He spoke from his viewpoint. And besides the fact that he was denied the viewing of his daughter's body, everything else is alleged. The guy says that the father is L. Dot, apparently a rapper from Staten Island. He and the mother have not gotten along for a while. The guy says that the father wasn't even informed that his daughter had cancer. He didn't know anything about the treatments or anything. And he has been fighting, going back and forth, having custody battles with the mother the entire time. Uh, and he also has supervised visits with his daughter. We're just getting one side of the story. I only know the father's side of the story, and what I know about the father's side is even limited. But the father did say he had a court order to see his daughter, and the cops blocked the path to the casket. They surrounded the casket. Over a dozen cops, and it looked like some family members were in there. Uh, it could have been some detectives or whatever, or some, uh, some plain clothes. But they surrounded the casket, preventing him from viewing his daughter's body, like paying his last respects. Now, I know some of y'all, like, man, he had to really do something bad to that woman. What did he do? I have no idea. Like I say, we only have one side of the story. Having one side of the story really limits you in scope on, you know, like having a really, really objective viewpoint about this. You know, because you're only hearing one side of the story. But I'm thinking to myself, what kind of woman would deny a child's father the opportunity to see him or her one last time if that's what they choose personally I'm the type of person when I go to funerals I don't view bodies in caskets I don't I don't ever walk up to the casket and look at the body or nothing because I like remembering people as I last saw them I don't want to see them in the casket it's such a finality to that uh, I would rather just remember them the way they were but it's to each his own some people they got to see it they got to see it so it's a personal choice so there's no right or wrong this particular father wanted to see his daughter and he was denied I'll put a link in the description to the video so you guys can see it for yourselves but what do you think about this? Denying a father the right to see his child at his child's funeral. And should it matter if the father, just if the father was a deadbeat? Some people say, well, maybe he was a deadbeat. I wouldn't allow him to see my child if he was a deadbeat either. Like, is that really your call? You know? Like, and it's like the dude in the video said, at what point do you set aside the differences that you have, that the father and the mother set aside differences they have and put the focus on the child and do what's best in the best interest 
of the child. Whoo wee, man, I'm glad that I picked carefully. You know, it didn't didn't work out right for my ch my my kids, uh, mother and I, in the end. But man, I wouldn't trade her for a whole lot of these women I see. Like, thank God she wasn't built like that to, 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 to be that type of person, to be that vindictive. Some of the things I see, some of these people who done laid up and procreated, uh, ain't none of it for the kids. It's all based on self-interest. You have to do what's best for your kids. Even if you hate a guts, even if you hate his guts, he ain't never did none of this. You gotta give them that relationship as long as they're as long as your kids mother or father is not putting them in danger you should make every effort to allow your children to have a life with their father or their mother i think it's very immature when people do that when they deny their children's access to their parents to their other parent i think that's very very childish very immature. And you got people that still behave that way in their 40s and 50s. They just 60s, 70s. Can't let it go. Just bitter, 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 bitter. Now, having said all of that, I have some experience with this. It's a little bit different here for me. A friend of mine, stepfather, where well, wasn't his, no longer his stepfather. This the guy was married to a friend of mine mother and they divorced his mother was in the hospital the whole time she was in the hospital dude never came to see her besides that he treated the mother bad in the opinion of my friend and his sister they didn't like the dude say he was just a taker he was not a giver he was a taker the whole time but the mother, mother loved him nevertheless, but she finally got to a point where she knew she could not live with him anymore and she moved on. After she moved on, she got even sicker uh, and it got to a point to where she was on her deathbed. Dude never came to see her, not once, while she was in the hospital or on her deathbed. Then he pops up at the funeral. And guess what happens? We can't allow that. I wouldn't allow it because my partner told me he didn't want him there. His sister didn't want him there. So we set up the we set it up to where he could not come in. He he showed up. It was interesting. He like he didn't show up for nothing else, but he showed up for the funeral. Now, you're not welcome, bro. And uh, he had to take a long ride back to the country. Now, I thought that was the right move because I believe in protecting the energy of uh, memorial services. I believe in protecting the energy of the living because really these funerals are for the living. They're not for the dead. So... But this situation with this guy and this woman is kind of strange to me. Uh, we're talking about a mother and a father, you know, not you know, a husband and a wife where they've been divorced. They're divorced and, you know, they're, they're no, no longer have ties, you know, and somebody who treated the other person evil and nobody likes him. And then he pops up with the bad energy. It's a different dynamic here. We're talking about a mother and a father. And I can see perhaps if the father was abusive to the child, if the father was, uh, if the father was uh, put the child in some type of dangerous situations and stuff like that, I can see where you know, a mother would try to step up. But it just sounds like to me from the information that I got that this woman right here was just being evil. Uh, 
there was a lot of going back and forth, but I never heard anybody shout out. They were shouting out different things, but I never heard anybody shout out anything particularly egregious that the dude did. So I'm sure if he was some type of monster, somebody would have said, yo, this is why you can't be here. This is why we don't want you here. It just seems like to me that the mother was being petty. I could be wrong. And if I am, somebody, please hop in them comments and correct me. Somebody who know the mother or the mother herself, hop in there and let me know uh, what you think. Whether it be, you ain't got to hop in the comments, you can DM me and just give me your side. But from what I'm hearing, if it played out the way that dude in the video said it did, the friend of the father said it did, then... That's pretty foul. But what say you? Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.